Walt Disney's a nice man, but Bambi was not a good thing for our our collective psyche around hunting. Not just Bambi, but essentially all cartoons involving animals. The animals were your friends. Yes. Even predators. Yes. Like Yogi was your friend. He was your friend. He wore a tie. He, had a, he was a, a bear attack. He was a um, gentleman. He had a hat on. Yeah. He was in a picnic basket. He and things. wanted your picnic basket. Jamie, look up. There was a guy. There was a dude um, recently who was caught poaching in Missouri, and the judge said that he had to um, watch Bambi once a month during his entire sentence. What? Let's see if you can find that. That is real. Kind of, that judge just needs a reality show. He's like, I know what to do, honey. I I'm know what to do. We'll make him watch Bambi. Show. He poached a deer. This is a guy who, like, the whole, uh, there was, like, a whole asses. family guy, too. We're in, like, a poaching ring or something. I read this on the way yeah. over here. Um, here it is. Dear poacher sentenced to watch Bambi every month during a year in Missouri jail. Yeah, this might be a judge that's like looking for a little p- Found publicity. Found to have illegally killed hundreds of deer. Whoa. Sometimes taking only their heads and leaving the rest to rot in fields. Keep, eh, how about you keep that guy in jail for more than a year? <laughs> there Fuck. he is. Look at him. David Barry Jr. Look at him. Fucking dork. Has been ordered he's, to watch. Here's one thing, man. If that guy was killing him because he was poor and he was just eating deer, and that's how he made his, you know, that's how he he got food. But that's not the case here. I don't care. He that chopped the heads me. off and just took fuck the heads. Fuck that guy. Just fuck fuck anybody who does that anyway. Fuck yeah. anybody who just wants to shoot something as damn delicious and massive as a deer. A deer could feed a family for months. Do you understand of that? Of course it could. You understand that, but I mean, people listening or this asshole. Do you understand that? This asshole uh, who yeah. shot this fucking thing, hundred deer, his head off you piece of shit. Yeah, fuck. Dude, I've, I'm, I fucking look forward to eating deer, and you shot it, and you. you yeah. Anyway, back, no. <laughs> back guy. like Walt Disney. I think like that kind of treatment of animals has has been something that's hurt hunting, and the third one is hunters have hurt themselves. Like that guy. Like maybe that's a poacher, not that a guy's way worse. That's a poacher, not okay. a hunter though. But he's a guy who's hunting illegally. That's yes. what poaching is. He's a hunter. Yeah, but like he's camping, camping illegally is trespassing. Not it's not the same thing. Yeah, but you're camping. You're yeah. trespassing and camping. You're All still right. camping. All right, maybe. Listen, he's. I know you don't want to call him a hunter, like you know, like someone who, who goes on stage at a company picnic is not a comedian. Yes, it's the yes. same thing. I get it. He's yeah, a hunter I mean, though. He's, he's still killing shit. animals. Yeah, he's killed yeah. more than me. That's a hundred. Yeah, I'm a hunter, and he's killed more he's than me. Fish so he's a fish and That's true. He's a piece of shit. He is. But uh, that's just like everything else, man. There's people that are good Uber drivers, and there's some that'll try to pull you under a bridge <laughs> and fuck your mouth. Look, this it's bad people well, out that's, there. That's a good point to bring up. Like, is there is there a time? Like, I always bring up with hunting. It's it's like, a, oh, uh, somebody killed a giraffe, or somebody, yeah, a guy killed a family of baboons and made a f- and did a photo. I saw that. Do you see that? Oof. Not good. Not good. Well, it's it's a fucking primate, bro. Yeah, I like, mean, there's like, nothing good about that. But the idea it's never going to go well for online. you. It's never going to go well for you. Yeah, did, did he put it online? No, he didn't put it online. To his, I guess, the the, the credit that we would give the guy. Who put it online? I, the Idaho statesman or whatever the Idaho local How paper did was. How they get the pictures? I don't know. Probably from one of the folks. He sent an e- a mass email out to some friends and colleagues and things of like recapping his oh. recapping his hunt in Africa. Like, here's all the things I did. And he, I think, and from what my reading on the guy, the guy, um, and I got a lot of mutual friends with him, say he's a good guy. Like he just screwed up, <laughs> like made a, made a bad choice. That's here. a tough sell. I would say so too. Yeah, but we should put him in a cell and make he, him watch some monkey movies. Yeah, I think he knew. Like if I put this, if I put this on, <laughs> that's, you gotta watch that's gonna Kong spin up after this. Is that yeah. for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Planet of the Apes. You gotta look, watch the Mark look, Wahlberg Planet of the Apes. B- the reality of baboons, and I have um, I've studied the work of Robert Sapolsky, yeah. who's uh, a guy who's been on the podcast before, and it's it's really pretty amazing stuff. What they found out about baboons that he studied actually, because he actually studied a baboon tribe that the um, alpha males died off. They were all eating out of a poison garbage patch. Uh, there was a garbage patch that had sick food in it and um, uh, just bad food. And the alpha males who got to eat first uh, always k- chased everybody. Else. They wound up dying off. And yeah. for more than one generation, I think it was several generations, they became like really peaceful and calm. And they weren't the vicious, violent baboons that are the norm. Yeah. And that it, it's, re- it's really, if you Google it, uh, Sapolsky studies baboons. And, I, and Radio Lab also had a podcast about it, which is where I first heard about it. And then I, I read what Sapolsky wrote about it. But it is unbelievably fascinating. It shows how you can have this insane, violent 
animal culture. And then the, the cunts get removed. <laughs> <laughs> and when the cunts get removed, everybody chills the fuck out. Yeah. It's really, really quite fascinating. Yeah. But um, baboons, for the most part, I mean, maybe he shot the nicest baboons ever, but for the most part, they're a bunch of baby-eating cunts, and they'll well, steal your fucking kid. That I little two-year-old that you love so dearly, that little motherfucker would be on a, a, a porch somewhere, and if there's baboons around, they'll snatch him and eat his head. Well, that's like when I was in Africa. I hunted Africa one time in my life, and the our PH and our guide, both said and our church is a professional, professional hunter, hunter right so the structure is like there's a professional hunter which is essentially your guide and then there's trackers which are n usually native folks that that help track in the game spot the animals things like that but our our ph he was like if you see a baboon shoot it he's like we have air we have lots of irrigation here to maintain this ranch and they rip it up and they're you know basically terrorists around you know coming around our camp messing with our fires messing with our food he's like if you see one shoot one and that was the instruction that I got. And I never never did, but, you know, given that instruction from somebody like that, like, hey, this is a good thing for our landscape. Go and do it. Now, that's very far removed from stacking them up. Yeah. Like, stacking very them up. Very far. And and s with a big smile on your face holding a bow. Isn't it? it doesn't shot baby. Didn't he shoot a baby? There's some babies. Like a whole family, <sighs> dude. How? Ooh, you can't. They don't stay in one place either. You if chase I would have came down. to you and I said, like, listen, Joe, here's my plan. What I'm going to do is go to Africa and hunt. And then, you know, like I'm going to shoot some baboons. I mean, it's a good thing for don't this. I'd be like, don't tell anybody. Yeah, you'd be like, don't don't take, certainly don't take a photo of you posing with an entire family of yeah. deceased primates. I had a friend who was in Africa and he got attacked by a baboon. Boom, baboon tried to steal his food. Yeah. I forget what the context of it was. It was, uh, it was quite a few years ago, but he said it was spooky. He said they don't seem like a a monkey and they don't seem like p they seem like a dog monkey like, like, it's, like, <laughs> like it's a, weird, dog, like a yeah. wild you ever yeah. see when they open their mouth yes yeah. it's like a dog mouth <laughs> it's like a dog right? mouth yeah, like a dog monkey it's like a dog fucked a monkey like if you really like uh, show a baboon let me see a baboon with its mouth open never thought of it that way but I'll give it to you but they have a long stretched out mouth like a wolf or something yeah. it's not it's like a werewolf yeah it's not like a regular person. They're they're real weird, man. They 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 have all these characteristics that are of primates, but then they have this extra weirdness to them. And w yeah, and this wildness to them too. Yeah. But I, doesn't that come down to like the core of look some of these? Oh my god! I that. mean, come on, look at that. That's like a werewolf. Yeah, that is a werewolf. That's like part. Look at that face. That lion. Look and at those that canines. It's like rolled yeah. back. But look at the this even the shape of the jaw. It's very dog like. Yeah. It's very elongated and 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 dog-like. They're very. St it's a very strange animal. Look at that face, man. That wow. is a crazy beast. And my friend said, uh, I forget the story. It was quite <laughs> a long time ago. Right but he stole some food and snarled at him and and snatched something from him. <coughs> but he said it was very scary. He said, and you know, it wasn't even that big. Really, like 60, 70 pounds, yeah. or something like that. He said, but it's big. Depending, they'll fuck you up. 